Carlito Cross Motherfucker you He asked me to touch it And I touched it and it felt real good Motherfucker you Carlito Cross King of the Madhouse Gone too soon Motherfucker you Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, motherfucker, you horse machine ranch road. Carlito Cross. Touch a horsey cat. It had the body of a horse and the face of a cat with big large genitals. Carlito Cross Cross Carlito Cross Carlito Cross Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Motherfucker. You. Hello and welcome to episode 124 of Madhouse Militia Presents In the Hall of the Ketamine Queen. From our August 23rd through 24th show in 2024, I didn't write the show notes, so you're not going to get anything out of me, except for the Patreon listings. Yeah, okay. We wish to give thanks to the following people for helping make the show go, such as Dwight the Jander, Wasted Memory for RogueServer.com, where we broadcast every Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, only on RogueServer.com forward slash AKSPA. I just realized I keep forgetting to mention that Wasted Memory has a show that he does on Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, over on RogueServer.com forward slash Wasted Memory, or WastedShow.com. Makes your brain think good. Dragomir for the Corn Down at Corndown.com, where he broadcasts every Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, also on RogueServer.com forward slash Dragomir. We also wish to give thanks to our patrons, such as Ryan T, Carlos T, Klusritz, Experts, Brian N, Mig Chungus, Jayad, Travis B, Gold Rust, Gordo, Parkman, Crispy808, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Fart666, Jesus Painus, and Turbo the High Level Squirrel. Thank you to everyone for helping support the show. You can find out more at immoralhole.com. You can find our show archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can find us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. If you wish to contribute to the show by other means, you can visit immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. Hello. Hey, hello. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. Yeah. This, uh, this is Roger. And uh, I did a <laughs> uh, I wanted to find out you have a, a, a trailer for sale, sir. <laughs> yeah, eight trailer, round bale eight trailer. Four, four bales. Oh. Dude, four bales. Oh man, how, how how many how many pounds per bale does that come out? <laughs> Play that again. I didn't. Uh, how much in poundage per bale does that equate out to? Oh, uh, so that be times four. pounds a bale. Oh, uh, that's about uh, that's about uh, two and a half tons. Oh my goodness! 
That's a lot. Oh yeah, I know. We probably we probably got at least three acres out here. <laughs> oh, I tell you, I, this time of year, man, I, my fever goes crazy. Ah, my eyes get watered. Oh boy, that ever happened to you? You ever experienced? <laughs> oh, Not yet. Either. You're lucky. That's what. Oh yeah, amen. I'm telling you, brother, uh, this is oh, it makes you miserable. You can't hardly breathe. You get all stuffed up. So that's why I'm interested in getting the trailer and get this crap out of here. Cold just blows in the windows, and man, just make my eyes all swell. Them. Oh, uh, how how much are you uh, looking forward to get out of that, there, partner? Five five hundred. <laughs> Five hundred. Hey, that's not too bad a deal. Yeah. No, um, it's pretty reasonable. Yeah. Now, it, now, now I can attach that to the back of the trailer, or is that that goes on the back of the truck, or is that on the tractor? <laughs> well, you just pull it. You can pull it with your pickup, or you can pull it with a tractor. Okay. Either one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It don't. Now it don't Either dump way. self. You have to have a loader to unload it or use a pickup. With a bell spike on it. Oh. Yeah. Or you better have some big Popeye arms lift them bad boys up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you bet. <laughs> I got as a kid before they had them round bells. We used to try and pick up them green bells. And boy, I'll yeah, tell you, could, that put the muscle on your path. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Real quick, I had a funny story. I had gotten paid from my work. I had my wallet in my pocket, and we was out there bending over and running and trying to keep up with the trailer and pick them up and slap them on there. And on the way ahead of that, my wallet fell out, and all of a sudden you look back, I couldn't find my wallet, and each hay bale had like a $10 bill and a $20 bill in it. <laughs> <laughs> go back, <laughs> fetch out all the bills we could. I'll tell you why. It was a mess now. <laughs> yeah. Now, does it have the pneumatic tires on it? Uh, yeah. The air, you air them up, yeah. Yeah. How, yeah. So How many inches are those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're, uh, they're on 15-inch wheels, but they're heavy duty. Oh, okay, 15 inch. They got real heavy hubs, and the wheels have been yeah. modified to fit the hubs. It's heavy duty rig. Oh. Ooh, it sounds pretty nice. Yeah, what's the condition of tires there? Are they are they getting dry rotted and aged, or well, are they good to go? We we hadn't used it in four or five years, so uh, they're still up. I, I we pulled it in, and it was still up. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so maybe at least get us through the season. <laughs> uh, get us through the season, yeah. maybe. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Depends right. on how much you use it. Yeah. How, um, how about the corrosion? Is it got much rust stain on, it or the paint oh, still no, holding no. out on it? Or? No, it's all it's all built out of pipe, and uh, it's it's a shop built rig, and but it's it's a good one. Oh. You must have kept the worst it parked thing about up it, in it the barn then. It doesn't dump the bales. That's everybody. I could have sold it I see. a bunch of times, but everybody wants one to dump. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, can, you, can you include a couple can't cans of Popeye brand dollars. spinach? <laughs> can you include a couple of cans of Popeye brand spinach with that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got my son Dixie Cream on here. Uh, let me see there if he can handle that. Dixie, Dixie, come on over here and talk to this man. What's going on here? Uh, uh, yeah, no, no. this is the guy had the baler. Talk to him about it there. A baler? How much that weighs? No, uh, hay trailer. Oh, you got some hay? Trailer. A hay trailer. You got we have a hay trailer. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Holds four bales. Four round bales. All right, but you got any hay? No, I don't have any. I'm retired. Uh, well, that's all right. But I, used to, I used to have a lot of hay. Well, you ever go out there at night and lay in the hay? <laughs> no, but 
<laughs> I've been out there at night a lot. I bet on it. Yeah, I always fell into the hay. My brother get me trapped in on the hay bale. But I was just trying to admire the hay. Because I love the hay. I just want to lie in the hay. I want to lie in the hay with you. That's all. Oh, Lord. It's been a while since I had some hay is all. Well, he crushed me when I was when I was little in the hay baler. Almost died. Three times, in fact. I told you you kids are playing nice together, Dixie. I'm lucky to be alive. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen, brother. Amen, son. Praise him. <laughs> Praise him. All right, now take the phone. I gotta, I gotta make a number two. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Like, Dixie, I didn't mean to get snot on you there, son. Sorry, boy. You know, this fever gets acted up this time of year. Um, all right. Uh, so, uh, you think it'd be possible we could... Come out and have a gander at that, Pap. Take a look at the trailer. Yeah, it's at uh, Butler, and it's two blocks okay. south of the fire station. All right, two blocks past the fire station. Okay, just past Horse Machine Ranch Road. All right, so uh, you think they maybe around noon tomorrow? You think somebody be around? Maybe, like, let us take a peek at it? Well, you can go up there and look at it if you like it. Why? Uh, okay. Call me. Then we'll, I don't then live. We'll I don't live up on. there. Okay. That's where you got her stationed up at. Gotcha, Pat. Yeah. All right. You know where Butler's at. Well, right? sure. Thank you for your time, there, brother. You, you bet. <laughs> uh, we'll be coming out from Horse Machine Ranch and. Uh, Carlito will drive us up there. He's got the international, so uh, we will uh, we'll give you a holler there. We'll take a peek at her, and we'll give you a holler and okay. let you know yay or nay there. Thank you, Pat. Oh, okay. God bless you. Love you now, Dad. You bet. All right. Hello? Hello? Hi there. Have you got the ride for sale? Yeah, I've got some oh, ride for good. sale. Oh, good. All right. Uh, any of it, have you got any of that moist, moist rye? No, nope, this is African rye. All right. It's not moist, though. No, it's not moist. No, no, no. Moist, like you got it soaked in water. No. No. Hey, hang out, hang out. When I got, I, I translate for him. He All said, right. he said, he said, moist. You, you dumb redneck motherfucker. Where you from? <laughs> I'll be damn. Where are you Where from? Where you from, boy? Well, I'm over here in Nashville right now. God damn, I got me a whole load. Got a sixteen wheeler over here, just loading this motherfucker up. A sixteen wheeler, huh? I don't fucking know. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. That's what That's I call your mom. What'd you do with the other two? I don't have the other two. They don't touch the ground. They just stay up in case something happens and they got to drop down and go to work. Mm. Well, hey. that sounds like a deal. Is it... Hey, what? is this that guy? Yeah. You know that guy we was talking about? It's, he's so ugly he was uh, proof that evolution can go in, in reverse. No, no, is this, is, this is the one that he keeps trying to talk about. He wanted to see me about a zip and sip or something like that. Uh, oh, no. It, it's probably if any lips getting zipped, it's probably because you're on everybody's zipper with your lips. No, no, no. That's oh, what I no. just did yeah. to you. Yeah. No, 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 no. You're, you're, you're casting, a pecker smacker, so. You, 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 you're casting <laughs> yeah. dispersions yeah. at my family. Yeah. You're casting yeah. dispersions. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, your family's still well. We don't even say where your family's at, but you know. Sheriff's office. Hi, how are you? Yes, sheriff's office. How can I help you? 
Oh, okay. is the Sharif in? Sheriff's office. Oh, okay. Did I not pronounce it correctly, or what? Are you stupid? Well, I don't know. Are you fucking okay. stupid? You no, called no, take down a pencil and not. Hey, 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 try to write hey, your try fuck. to write your name. Hey, without dumb having fuck. a seizure from malfunctioning. What? You are talking to Roger Mills County Sheriff's Office. Do you not understand that? You keep what talking. It? It's all on record. It's all on no, record. I have some drinks, okay? I have some drinks, and you can't record. Okay. Hello. Scrubs. Hi, I'm calling about a dog. You had my dog show up out there? What? What's that? My dog. You have my dog? I have. Not that I know of. Who are you trying to get a hold of? This, is this is this Doug? Yeah. Yeah, I saw a posting, Doug, that you had my dog. I had a friend share it with me. You got my dog? No, I uh, I had two and came into my yard. Oh. Yeah, a, bl- a black and brown one, right? It was black, and then the other one was brown and white, right? The one that ra- yeah, they ran yeah. away from me. Okay, they were in, I put them, I enclosed them in my back fence, and then when I went home at noon, they were gone. Okay, so, so who did you give, who did you give, who did you give my dogs to after you enslaved them? I didn't enslave them, I put them in there where they were safe so they wouldn't get run over, and when I got home at noon, they were gone. Okay, wait, was it a fenced-in yard, you said you you closed them in? Yep, yep. All right, all right. I'm documenting. Where do you I do live? have them back. I, I I do have them back. I'm just I'm just uh, writing down you, information. You live right the across law, the street the from me. the lawsuit's going to be massive. It's going to be massive. Uh, what lawsuit? Here. Well, you you entrapped my dogs. You set up a trap to get my dogs. The fuck I did. I put them in there where they were safe. I could have let the fuckers right, get run did, over. Did you? Hey, 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 don't call my dogs fucker. Now, did you lock it? Did you lock the gate? Or was it? were they free to go at any time? They could have walked away from any time. If you want to sue okay, me, so, fuck, where do you live? So, hang on, hang on. Don't be yelling at me like that. Now, Where do you live? Now, how, how are they expected to be able to leave? It was on Tradio. You had to call my number, and or you could have went right to my house and opened the fucking door no, no, and got them out. How are my dogs going to be able to just leave? Like that's what I'm asking. Open the door and get them out if they were if you cared about them. Well, my dogs couldn't we're, free themselves. That's what I'm asking. Were they free to leave under their own own accord or not? And get run over by a car, maybe. Well, no, my dogs are highly intelligent. They went to obedience school. Sounds like you could yeah. have benefited from a little bit of obedience school yourself. I'm going to obedience you right in the fucking face if you come to my house. Where do you live? Yeah, see, see, we don't, we don't fucking put up with that down here at Dead End Lane, okay? Like, that might be some shit I you don't do even live. There I live in Park. Glasgow. Listen, asshole, I live uh, in Glasgow. Uh, I live in I Glasgow, live. Montana. Now, now? I have now. lived in Glasgow, Montana for three fucking years. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I have lived in 78 Loman for three fucking years. You come to 78 Loman and I'll pound your fucking head to the dirt. It wasn't your dogs that I had, apparently. Yeah, my dogs. A bl- okay, black one and then one that was brown and white. How did they get to Glasgow, Montana? Well, you're asking dumb questions now. No, I'm telling you, they were in Glasgow, Montana, and they weren't your fucking dogs if they were in Glasgow. Right. Right. No, no, because I'm over here over on Highland, Highland Drive, just off of Highland. You know where Heather Lane is, where Heather Lane and Highland meet? That's me, right there, right there. Yep. So what are you talking about, dead end lane? I was making stuff up. I don't understand why. What's then the, what's the fuck you, buddy. You got your dogs back. Next time, I'll let the fuckers run and get run over. But you, ent- you entrapped them. You enslaved them. You're like an Egyptian over there trying to make you build your pyramids or something. You're gross. You're gross and you're negligent. You're unwashed. Grossly negligent. Yeah, asshole.
Can I pet that dog? No, wait, I can't because I don't know. Yeah, you can't because he stole my dogs. You know, now I gotta take him to the dog. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, that's her. Hi, hello. How are are you? Hi, I'm calling for uh, Harris, El Presidente, por El Presidente. Hello? 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 You are here? Can you hear me, sir? Yeah. Okay, so I was calling you, uh, and forget, so you had uh, something listi- listed, I, I had something, I had a list here, I'm sorry, I got, I forgot to write the things down, I, but I wanted to call it, what, what, what was the thing you were selling? What are you talking about? Got a few different, I'm sorry. <sighs> Can you explain to me the electromagnetism? Hello, Lando. I just called you. Um, I had seen you had an ad. I guess you not understand my German accent, but I see that you had an ad out here, and I, I was purely just calling you um, for the ad, and I'm very, very sorry about the, it was the trolling mode. Um, so if you just give me a call back, we will talk here. Yeah. I'm very sorry we got us on the wrong foot. I just want to let you know before I go that, you know, for sure, Lando Carizian was my favorite in, in the Star Wars, so, like, we are on the same side, buddy. Thanks. Budget in. Hello. Hello. Budget in. Hi. Um, I'm a. Yeah. Um, I have some livestock that I'm hauling, and um, I'm I'm not going to make my destination tonight. It's too far. And I'm tired, so I like to stay there. That's okay. Um, we have no rooms available. Do you have like I don't know, can I park my truck in the parking lot or something? Uh no, I can't. Our, our parking lot's full. Uh oh, okay. Uh well I've got all these animals, you know in the trailer and right. uh they're starting to smell something off, something awful and I was thinking if you had like a hose I could like hose down these pigs and chickens. No, I I don't. Sorry. Did can, what can you do for me? Like you've said no four times. Is there anything you no, can like, do? Because I'm not I have no rooms, and there's nothing available, so I'll have to go somewhere else. Uh-oh. Some of the chickens just ran into the hotel. Oh, no. Um, you know, like, the, the hallways between the rooms? There's chickens. The chickens... So we don't have to have search. Oh, that's a that's a ringing phone. Good evening. Thank you for calling the Best Western Capital oh. Hotel. How can I help you? Oh, hi. Yeah. Uh, oh boy, I wasn't ready uh, for you to answer because everyone's been hanging up and I don't know why. How can I help you? Oh well, uh, I got my family here with me in the Volkswagen, and uh, we're 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 trying to get up there. I've got my my cousin from overseas. He's here with me. He came from Germany. But we need a place to stay. So you need reservations. For what day? Yeah. Oh, today, if you got the space. Okay, our elevator's being replaced. Um, So how many beds do you need? I don't have any first floor left available. We don't like elevated beds like that. Not elevated. No, the... No, the elevator, yeah. not elevated yeah. beds. The elevator is is not working. So you'd oh, be yeah. doing no, stairs. No, they took us out of the elevator at the other place. 
They kicked us out because we were we were staying in the in the elevator. We had our bed in there, and and every time people came in, they were trampling us. Yeah, I bet they were. Do you need accommodations, or are you just calling to mess with me? I need accommodations. I'm just okay. One moment. What happened? Oh. What a B word. I will fuck you in the arse later that night. Then he took the big bookie and he flushed it straight down the toilet. You are a stupid cunt, stupid bitch. Fuck you, bitch. You are a stupid cunt. I fuck you. Fuck your butt. Suck a fucking dick, you bitch. Grab it by the shaft and stroke. Pull the balls. Flick the nuts. Oh my god, that feels so great. Oh my god, what the fuck? Having someone answer the phone. Hello? Thank you for calling Double Tree by Hilton in downtown Helena. How can I direct your call? Hey, let me direct uh, the call to my brother here who's here from Germany. Here, take it away. Hello. How, how are you doing there? Guten Abend. How can I help you tonight? Oh, gute Nacht. Sprichst du Deutsch then? Oh, that is so cool. Oh my god, I know how to anyone speak German here before. Okay, mm. so you will probably know what I'm what I'm talking about. Um so if you're in the room and I was basically wondering about your policy, the um Sochenopfen, you know what this is? Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? It is German, it's like a German custom. I thought maybe you know a little German, you might know. It is um, the sock on the knob. I were basically in the room, and I didn't know if you did the sock on the knob or if you did just crack the door for the social aspect of the yes. hotel. Uh, generally, people keep their uh, doors shut. You have a balcony if you need to open it to get some air into the room. Okay. Okay, so you were saying, so if the doors are shut, then you are doing the sock on the knob, and the people here know what that means? My brother, he's not sure. Like, <laughs> we've raised apart, we have the same father, so I'm trying to tell him, like, German customs. Like, no, like, the hotels, they have, the, they, they either do, like, sock on the knob, where you put a sock on the knob, or you do, you know, like, open door, and people, oh. it's like a social thing in Germany. I'm like, it has to be a thing here, like, it's, you know... I think I've heard something about that before, but g- generally here we have like a sign that you just hang on your, your door handle that says, do not disturb. And those usually come with, with the room. Okay, and so this is like, will, and people know to come in then when you put this on? Or because in Germany you put the sock on the knob and they know you can come in or you leave it open. It's like a social thing. It's like open doors, you come in, you don't know anyone in the city, you want to meet people, other people who are not from there who want to socialize, they will like do the same or like come looking for. And so basically we get a little champagne and yeah, we try to just, it's like a mixer, it's like a little party in the rooms, you know. So I'm just not sure of the policy you hear. So you're saying you do the sock on the knob? Yeah, we don't really have that kind of thing here. That maybe if it was like a, a hostel or one of those places, but but here people pretty much just keep to themselves and stay in their own rooms. Uh, there, there's a bar oh. in in the restaurant downstairs where where people sometimes hang out and socialize. They're open from five until ten p.m. every day. Okay. So and. Okay, so the and bar, there are some other bars in walking distance, yeah. Oh, that's that's cool. okay. So I might go down to the bar. Do do like, um, uh, how you say? And I'm not sure the the English word for it is. Opfenflüssel. Uh, like, do you know? Like, um, if I go to the bar, like if I leave my zippers like half zipped up, do it? Do this? Do that? Do still the same signal here? Uh, like if you're wearing a, a jacket? Well, you, you know, it's it, not really. It's more so like, yeah, you might wear a jacket to kind of cover it up, but you flash it to the right person if you're trying to send the signal, if you keep your... Uh, my brother is telling me it is called the fly. If you have your fly half zipped and there's a little showing, then people will know that it is like invitation to meet them in the bathroom. 
No, no. Is this the same signal in America? You know, maybe in some of the larger cities that's how it works, but not really around here. Mm, okay, so what you will see, you do the like, because sometimes in Bavaria, you are there, you put, instead of the, the fly, they will pull a pocket, like they put their pocket inside out. And then they flash with a pocket, you know, is that you think it's more like a pocket situation? You know, it very well could be. Um, I don't think a lot of that stuff goes on around here. Um, I mean, mm. some, in some of the bigger cities, that kind of thing is more prevalent. But here, that we don't really have like. I mean, maybe at a so bar like the Rialto, like direct, that would. I would be like maybe more direct when I'm asking for these things. Yeah, I think that might be the, the best policy. Around here, okay, so well, in Germany, people are very direct normally, but not so much about sex. So in America, you say like basically like what would you say would be some good like commons if I were like, you know like you know you know if it means you're in the bathroom like you look very nice and maybe like touch your boobies in the bathroom or something like what is this your Americans are this open sexually to say these things as like a come on in a bar or something. Yeah, or you might offer to buy the person a drink first and then just start talking and, and mention your intentions. I don't really oh, so you engage get in that drunk. type of it's activity. Oh, wunderbar, that's genius. So, wait, you buy them some drinks, yeah. and by this they will know you want to sleep with them or something. That usually seems to be how it works around here. It seems a little coercive. I mean, it's it's... Basically, I would rather like undo half the zipper or like stick a pocket out because it's more like insinuating of what's gonna happen. But I mean, I guess getting them drunk is if it is the American way, as you say, then in Rome, you know. Yeah, I suppose so. So, what do you say when you're basically they've had a couple of drinks and stuff, which like you say, like. Okay, make with the sex now, or like what you what you would say then? Maybe invite them to your room or something. I, I wouldn't know honestly, but okay. So you're like you get in the room or something, or like Americans like the forceful, or you're saying you guys are very direct. It seems. Yeah, I guess it just sort of depends on the context. I actually have some customers at the desk now, so I'm going to have That's to let okay. you know. That's okay. No, wait, wait. Well, you just tell me one line. Just give me one line that's worked for you in the past with Americans, and I will say goodbye to you all. I don't engage in that type of activity, so I wouldn't know. Okay, I don't engage in that kind of activity, but with you, baby, 100%. Thank you, sir. Good day. Mwah. Sure. Can you do that call again? But like, say, oh, but how do I say like no, no fatties, you know, or something like Dude, that? Dude, yeah, okay. Thank you for calling residents in Helena. How can we help you? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Hi, I'm staying in one of your rooms. Uh, first time in America from Germany. I just uh, had for you a question on some of your Sorkin and Opfen policies. I'm sorry? I'm sorry. sorry. I don't know the German, or I'm sorry, the English word for it, but it's like, what's your policies for, like, do you do open door or do you do sock on the knob? Thank you for calling residents in Helena. How can we help you? Go ahead. How can we help you? Hello? Hello? How can hey. we help you? Hello? 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 How can Hello? we help you? How oh, can we hey. help you? I was calling because uh, it was just for the, cl the clout. I was calling for the clout of it. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't. And I don't appreciate you prank calling no, on, a public, you prank on a business on line. Public. It's for the clout, though. I don't care if it's for the clout. This is a business line, and I do not have the time for prank calls. This is line, and I do not have the time for prank calls. This is for the. You're really good at that.
Warby about 20 years ago. I'd never seen anything like Warby before. Thanks for calling the Best Western Capital Hotel. How can I help you? Hello? Hi, how are you doing? Best Western Capital Hotel, how can I help you? Yeah, we need uh, we need a booking. We need to find a room and put our feet up for a couple minutes. I'm sorry, it's really hard to hear you. Yeah, a couple minutes. We just need to put our feet up. Oh, my hey, ankles are so swollen. Gotta put these up. Is it Big Amy at the front there? There isn't an Amy that works here. Oh, what's your name? Maybe you're Big? Maybe that's the problem. Delta Hotel, this is Chelsea. Hi, Chelsea. How are you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Listen, I got uh, my paycheck tonight. I want to get a room. I was just wondering how the action was uh, over there. What do you mean? Well, we like, have rooms available. Okay, cool. And then, like, who's down there? What who do you mean, who's down here? Well, they said to call here because you guys got all the ladies. No, I don't see any. Oh. Well, where do I go? What do I do? I don't know what to tell you. How do I achieve um, companionship? I don't have the answer for that. Do I use AI? Is that what I should do? I'm going to talk to the AI. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. AI, answer these questions. Help. Hello? 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 With someone on the phone. Thank you for calling Hilton Home Jew. This is Elizabeth. How may I help you? Hello, Elizabeth? Yes. Oh, thank God you answered. Listen, I was there earlier and there was a big girl at the front. Was that you? Um, it could have or it could have been my agent. What's going on? Oh, uh, she trampled on the flowers. I saw her outside. And she took she took her trousers down and she she made water everywhere. This is Angel Best Western Plus. How can I help you today? Hello, um, room service. I'm sorry. Hello. I am in one of your rooms. I'm here for room service. I look um. Room service? Yes? Uh, we don't do room Food. service at this hotel. Yes, I would like... You know, I said... I saw I have a menu here, though. It says... It I says, think you're calling the wrong hotel, sir. Girl, no, we don't have it. Girls? One of your girls, please? Uh, mm-hmm. Hello? This is Gordon City Hampton Inn. How may I help you? Yeah. Hi. Um, I, I had a question. If I leave some trash outside my room, will you guys pick it up? Yeah, let me just, yeah, I could have housekeeping go and pick it up. Okay, it's kind of heavy. Is that a, I mean, do you, can you have maybe like two people? Well, do you need it picked up right now? Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's not that that warm in here right now, but what, I, I guess I'll just tell you what happened. Um, so my kids have had this Great Dane for like eight years. And, um, unfortunately it, you know, it's getting older. These dogs don't live forever. Um, and they actually told us it had cancer the last time we were at the vet. Um, so my wife keeps pushing me. She's like, you need to put the dog to sleep. You need to put the dog to sleep. So I, I priced it around. It was like $400 because of the size of this dog. Um, but you know, she had already told the kids we were going to do this. So, uh, I told them, you know, okay, fine. I'm going to take the, the dog to be put to sleep. So we took him out for ice cream and we had a good day and everything. And, um, I took the dog, but, um, y- this hotel, 
it's nice, but it's cheaper than $400. So I actually um, euthanized the dog myself. But getting him out of the room is kind of an issue because I, I don't want to be, you know, like dragging this dog through the hallway or anything like that. So I kind of just wanted to put like bag it up and just leave it outside my room. Okay. Um, it's not it's not like bloody or anything because I just no yeah yeah you know put it in a headlock. So the thing is like the dog loved me like we were bonded because I had this dog before I had the kids before I had the wife. Um, so I kept chickening out like when I was you know trying to put it to sleep, and it took me like three or four times. Um, I don't know like honestly the dog's head's at a weird angle. So I don't want to upset anyone. That's why it's in the bag. But it's not bloody or anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I have no idea because our trash, I don't know if it can actually... I don't think it's able to handle that. So I have no idea what they would have to do with that. I mean, I could just leave it in my room when I check out if that, you know, works. Yeah, I... I think that would probably be because uh, our trash isn't like big. Uh, it can only handle like certain trash, and it's very old. So I don't know if they could actually put it there. But if you could just give me the room number, okay. I'll have them know about what, it. So no what if surprised. it was in multiple bags? What if it was in multiple bags? Uh, I still have Cause no I can, idea. Like the dog is eight years old. <clears throat> its spine is already messed up. I think if I put enough pressure. I could actually get it, you know, apart and into two bags. There, there I mean, there's cutlery in the room, right? Uh, no. Do you guys have like scissors or anything? Can Can I come get some? Uh, Do you guys have scissors at the front? Uh, hold on, let me do something. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> if you don't have Sorry. scissors, like maybe a letter opener or something. Uh, we don't have a letter opener, and the only series we do have, they're not very good. They're only small ones. They're like children's. Dude, I'll, I'll take whatever you have, honestly, because like, if it requires getting it into two bags, this will be easier than just pulling. But uh, Are, are you going to have them at the front desk? We would, but for a reason like that, I don't think we're actually allowed to give them. I mean, it'll be our secret. I'll, I'll tip you like 20 bucks if that's cool. Um I mean, the alternative is just leaving it whole in the room. I think that would probably be the best choice because I don't really know if the other... Can can you maybe come up and, like, help me at least, like, get him off the floor? I suppose... I mean, this is, like... Because, like, like I said, I mean, I don't want to leave the dog here because, like, fluids and all that. I want to just get it in a bag then. Yeah, no problem. Let me do something real quick, though. Oh, shit. One second. One second. Are you still there? Hello? Uh, hello? Hey, uh, the dog just started breathing again. Give me, like, uh, I'm going to call you back in, like, five minutes, Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna call you back in like five minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Bye. I love you. Get through. Why won't you die? <laughs> Why won't you die? <laughs> Call your All right. doctor. Hold up. Special. Name, how may I help you? Hi, how can you help me tonight? Oh, wow, your phone is really messed up. I can't really hear you. I just hear a loud buzzing noise and noise. Did you put it in the fish water again? You know, I was talking to the owner. He said, you know, you were doing that again. You've been drinking on the job and and sticking the phone inside the fish water. And, you know, we're very cross with you. Sir, uh, what do you want? 
Oh, your phone, it's it sounds like you stuck it in the microwave and, and put it in for 10 minutes. So, no, you are staying at this hotel? Yeah, I microwaved the telephone and it's it's melting all over the place. I don't know what to do. What is your room uh, number? Oh, it's 215. You know, it's where you put me. 205? Yeah, well, so can I come and check the phone with you? Well, it's microwave now. It's like a TV dinner. My son was trying to eat it. He's very so hungry. He... What you are talking, sir? He's a he's a Ben Chode. Uh, what's the room number, sir? Two oh, five. Two oh five. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm we coming. We microwaved sir. the phone in here. The microwave it was eating everything in sight, and the microwave the phone. And now my son's trying to eat it with his uh, his fork and knife. He's cutting it into pieces. Would yeah, you I'm like coming. Would you like a slice of phone? I'm coming. Your phone up here. I'm coming, sir. Well, I'm not sure if you understand what I'm trying to explain to you here. I'm coming, sir. Two of five. I'm coming. You know, what's strange is that your phone got better. When you got on, the phone got better. That's really weird. Sir, so I'm what coming. What's she doing? Okay, Don't well, come yet. But why are you? Like, why is that occurring? I didn't ask for that. Hello? I just, I just want to let you know that the phone has been in the microwave for three hours now, and it's very ben, healthy. Ben, 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 ben. Thanks for calling the World Wearing Clearing House, and I only speak in time. I help you. Uh, hello there, dear. I was wondering if you have any room uh, vacancies tonight. Uh, let me check. All right. I was uh, I was punching a mirror on my car earlier, and my hand hurts something fierce. I had something to do with that lady that was there yesterday. The big one, was that you? Mm, I don't think so. Well, there was a big lady there yesterday, and she scooted me out. And she said, oh, get the hell out of here, you ugly bastard, you. And he, he, he no. She, she took down her trousers right there and started peeing everywhere. And she said this... I don't know why I became Where Matthew Connors. Hello? Hello, how can I help you? A, sorry, I had the TV on. You hear me? Hello? Hi. So, I've got a few questions here. I'm first time staying from Germany in your country. I'm wondering a few questions about the the battle room, the, the, um, the bathroom. Mm. Okay. So, I'm not sure... The bidet seemed like really high, and it's kind of like it poke a bit too much. You know what I'm saying? No, sir. Are you talking about the shower? Well, no. Well, I'm not. Sh- the douche in Germany is what we call this. So what I I did it's like what I'm seeing is very. Similar but very opposite or something what I see in Germany because I see like your sink has a lid on it mm-hmm. and yeah. so your fresh water it, it tastes good but there is a lid on the sink but then the bidet has like a point it has like an extra nozzle it's manual Right. It is yeah. like pointy and very high off the ground and I'm not sure like what is happening because you're, and what room are you in, sir? I'm not 100% good on the English numbers, but I think it was like 205, or I'm not sure, because in Germany the numbers, are we say it a bit different. So you're in 205? Let me see. I What's your name? that was the number. Let me um, see. Well, it's not in my name. I'm here booked from my company, but... So it could be okay. in my boss's name, but basically it's weird because your toilet is very large and I could step inside the toilet. 
but like the sink is very small compared to what we have in Germany and it have a lid on it. Mm, yeah. But I have used the foot bath and it has been good. You have your foot bath is is levered. It's it's the right height, but it is like on the back of your sink with the lid. And so in there, I have put my feet in this the cool, refreshing water that we know in Germany. That's the one thing that has been the same. Mm. But other than that, it's like douche, dear, dear, Ospritze, the 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 bidet. I think is the English word. The bidet that spray you clean after number two is a little high, but it works. It's just a little like it protrudes. It's a bit pointy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not sure. Like I just need you tell me how to use correctly because I'm confused. I I don't know. I can send somebody to your room. What room number? What's your What's your company name? I told you the rule. Well, um, well, I'm not sure if they use the English subsidiary uh, company. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, our German company is is the Fert Fuba. So. Well, uh, I cannot help you on the phone. I don't know what you're trying to say. I need to send somebody to your room. So if you give me. Step outside your room. I'll look at the room. Tell me what's the room number, and maybe I can send somebody yeah, to your room. Yeah, it's like 200 and four, it's like 205, I think. I'm not sure. It could be 502 because the numbers, like we say, them different in job. Yeah, well, I don't have uh, anybody in that room, so I I don't think you have the room room, uh, room number right. Well, I'm in the room. It's I'm well maybe yeah maybe I have the wrong number. Well, do me a favor, oh, hang yes, up sorry, hang up this phone. This, yeah, my dog is a little yeah. loud. What I'm saying is, hang up this phone and dial zero from your room from your room phone, and that'll tell me what Wait, it is. Wait, I want to make sure you will help me because it's a bit precarious situation because I can't leave the room to see the number fully because I am in the bathroom. This is why I, I understand. But sorry, sir, I can't but help I you, okay? Listen to me. Listen to me. Open. Okay. Listen to me. Click. Thank you for calling Holiday Inn Express in Woodward, Oklahoma. My name is Miranda. How may I help you? Hello? Hi. How you doing there, big Miranda? I'm Ooh. good. Oh, good. Listen, I'm coming down there and we're driving in the truck. We got the chickens. It's okay we leave the chicken trailer out at night. Uh... I have no idea. That's up to you. <laughs> There's right, a parking right. lot for semis. Yeah, yeah. These chickens got a covered. peck. Tell her about how these chickens got a peck, brother. They got a peck, peck, peck. Hello, Quinta. This is Kim. Hi. Hi. Listen. Hi. We accidentally pulled in backwards. We're on the road. I don't know how. Hello? Hi. Aquinta. Yeah. We launched our car. It's on the roof. We're out here. I'm on a roof. We made it up here. We've been trying to get up here all year. Oh. On the roof. Oh. Thank you for calling Super 8. How may I help you? Hi. Hello? Yes. Oh, good. Listen, there was a lady there earlier that was big, and she said for me to call back later because she could get me some of the stuff for the room because we ran out. Well, what was it, um, air freshener? Yeah, my son was sticking it, well, he sprayed it everywhere, and then he put the, the bottle where the sun don't shine. He's here with me now. He's 35 years old. I asked him not to do that. And he said, oh, well, the pretty lady down there, the big lady, she said, oh, she's going to give me more. 
But we can't enable his, you know, this behavior. Yeah. Um. So, are you needing me to uh, get some more out for you, or? Yeah, I think that'd be good. Just gotta keep him away from the boy. Okay. Because he's got bad intentions. He's got uh, Dwight intentions there. Okay, let me find some more air freshener, and I'll get it ready if you want to come down and pick it up from the front. All right, you got anything to boof that with? Huh? Yeah. Boof of the kerosene? Ask her if you can boof the kerosene with it. Yeah, we got a kerosene. Gary Scene. He's here. Garrison? Okay. Hello? Um, you're cutting in and out. I can't quite understand you. How do you boof? You boof it? How do you, I'm, we're trying to get the boof right. Hello? Hello. Hello. We can't. We just need some tips on how to use the boof. The boof. Hello. Hello. Yeah. So we're not. I'm sorry. We're from the south. When in south we call this the boof. We're trying to just figure out how to how you toggle the boof. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Well, you open both sides, and you're down under, and you turn the nozzle, and it goes boo. And that's why in the south, in the Louisiana, we call it the boo. Oh. Yeah. I, I, I get you. Okay. I'm still down here uh, looking for air freshener. And well, I'll have it ready yeah. up front for you. We're good on air fresheners. Well, I got some from the car wash, but really we just need to know how to use the boo. Get on with you, Mrs. Lexus. How may I help you? Okay, hello. Ketamine Sweets, hello. Uh, Kennewood Seeds, this is Lexus. Yes, I'm out here. I got. I was under the understanding, Lexus, that there was ketamine at the... This isn't like a retreat? Uh, no, it's not a retreat. Uh, I was told that this was more like a, you know, like an ayahuasca retreat. You said this... I heard you said, hello, this is the ketamine retreats. And I yes, like, yes. Ketamine, I heard ketamine, so well, I'm just not no. finding it in my room, and there's no one here to administer. Uh, no, so it's Candlewood Sweets in Woodward, Oklahoma. We don't have any anything like that here. In so, town. how's the Candlewood work? Is that therapeutic or? Um, so we just have like basically apartment type rooms. That's all we really have. Here, there's no. Pool, That's okay. No it can be a small room as long if, because if you're burning this all this candlewood, do I inhale it or is it more like a sauna deal? Uh, no, no, no. So like the room, they've got a kitchenette in them. That's the only specialty. Yeah, it looks pretty yeah. normal, like a little tiny apartment or whatever. But I'm just not finding any of the ketamine. Right, because we don't or have the candlewood. Any here in this I can't. The can't where? Yeah, where's the candle wood? I'm sorry, I was under here under this man out in the parking lot sold me a room for about eight hundred dollars, and he said there was gonna this was a ketamine retreat. Okay, can you just give me one second? Uh, are you getting need to go to the bathroom? I'm sorry, you go ahead, hun. Thank you, Lexus. I'll just, er, er, you know what I mean, girl. What is this word? Five, seven, four, two, eight, seven, two, eight. Yeah. I think you're staying one night, one adult. No. I think you haven't had the time. Eight, six, eight, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, I think I found it. Oh, no, the, I brought that from home. Hell. But... I don't know where the boof is.
Yellow Lexus. Uh, panic button there, Lexus. Open the trunk for me, baby. I need to talk. On beep, beep, beep. Back on up for me. Oh, this ambient music just gets it every time. They're boofing ketamine next door. Hey, Lexus, I ain't yet find the Candlewoods yet. I know it ain't ketamine, but if it's Candlewood, I'll still, I'll still take it. Okay, and are you here in town, Woodward? Yeah, well, I'm in the room. I was just sold this out about 800 bucks out in the parking lot before I came in. He had a tablet. He said he was with you boys, but... Wait, hold on. You're in a room right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the room, and it's just... I don't, I don't. See, I mean, I see the kitchen. I don't see the ketamine, though. He said it was the ketamine, but then you told me it was candlewood, and I was like, I don't care what it is. I'll still get high, but... Okay, hold on. Whoa, 220. what room are you in? 220, honey. You You're sound, at 220? You say your name was Lexus? Okay. Don't ask with Lexus, you know? Hey, I didn't call the house. You're talking to somebody. Hello? Uh, no, 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 no. I found I found yeah. it. Okay, so let me call the house real quick. It says Candlewood. It didn't say ketamine. It said Candlewood. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. I think I got had. Hello? Oh, hell. Lexus, tell me you're still there. Beep, beep. You know what I'm saying? We're, I'm, a, I'm honking the panic button, honey. Where you at, Lexus? Oh, shit. I'm honking the panic button, honey. Hey, I need to get up here right now. I'm about to call the cops. There's possibly somebody in 220 smoking crack. And somebody out in the parking lot is holding the room for $800. And you know, nobody said nothing about no goddamn crack. You said Somebody. it was Candlewood. And then my girl told me she said it was Candlewood. So I think you're both wrong. Sold in the room for $800, and he's getting high. So I'm about to call the cops. Well, I haven't been high. That's the problem. There ain't no ketamine in here. I'm not high. Repeat, I am not high. I'm dissatisfied customer. Let the record show I'm sober as a goddamn cucumber, and I ain't been high for about 16 hours. And where, where the fuck is? Cause hello, you said this was Candlewood, and then I thought probably that was Sandalwood. So you're telling me this ain't even drugs? So I'm not even high. The only hang up the phone with this dude and call to the and see if he picks up. No, wait, wait, wait. Call me back. Call me back. Call me back at this number. Then just leave it be. Yeah, I mean, why? Yeah, just let it lie. Let it lie. That's the best That's policy. That's the best. All right. right. Yes, sir. Well, I'm so glad that you made it, bro. Oh, oh, she got. Tell him, Carlito. That's right. Come out. Oh. <laughs> Look, man, keep those bottles quiet. Let me ride. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that guy's terrible. Fuck <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I love you, Carly. I love each and every one of you, my dear Madhouse Militia family. You guys rock. You make this so worth it for me and Axel and Carlito. And we're all pulling together. And we're all joining together on this gigantic journey of our Madhouse Militia families on the journey together. And together we can overcome all adversity, pain, and anger, and fear in our work. We're learning that laughing at our problems melts away the grief of our troubles, and we're finding that our strength is the power of laughter, kindness, and joy, and learning that our differences are trivial, and they are really more alike than different. And that's the truth, guys. Look at it. We're all healing our collective souls together with the magical power of laughter right here on the map. Alphamish show every week Friday at 10 p.m. right here in your ear balls. You know, Madhouse Militia is saving the world one laugh at a time. We're dropping the dimes. We only ask that you give us a time and bring a friend, or better yet, bring an enemy, because they're gonna be welcome right here in the Madhouse Militia. Could not do without each and every one of you, my dearly beloved, my whole family, keeping me alive. And you know what? I'm going to keep each and every one of you alive. We all keep in the spirit of the great air mind to join smoke up in heaven above. I want to thank Matt. Excuse me. I want to thank uh, Wasted Machines for providing the stage here every week and giving us a playground that we can laugh and have fun with. And my dear brother Axel, I couldn't do without you. Keeping the wheels together, bearing the weight of this crazy mission to help me keep this giant torch moving forward and spreading the light of laughter to the world. Each and every one of you, thank you so much. And D White Machine? No, he's not here. Anybody know if D White Machine's going to a show? Any guesses? Probably not. I, I, that I would was guess my no. guess. From what he was telling me, uh, probably not. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. But let's be expected. Guy takes vacations. Guy's working overtime every week. He's going to take a break every so often. But you know what? You can count on plenty of entertainment from this Madhouse Militia family. Even if D. White does do his show, or if he doesn't, don't forget to tune in to D. White Core because Cat Machine with their big screen is going to provide hours of entertainment with all kinds of fun and fantastic movie selections. If you're really into the movie thing, join early and get your votes in. Maybe you can pull out a movie that you'd like to see. But regardless, Mad Hatter and Cat Machine got our back. And there'll be plenty of entertainment, hours of entertainment to be had tomorrow night as well. And until then, we will see you next week. Each and every one of you, God bless you all. And thank you so much for tuning in. And this is the Milkman Carlito. Back to space in the mothership. Thank you to Wasted you Memory go, for helping Milkman figure out his mumble audio. Because that sounded nice Does it sound and better? crisp and clear. Yeah, it's perfect. Did it? Oh, okay. Yeah, he got me fixed up. I, I was hoping it wouldn't give me bad comments. Now we got to fix it White's was... audio and his setup. so that we No, yeah, that was probably the clearest. Skype. I've heard you Good a long luck. time. Yeah, I know. Wow, fantastic. Okay, uh, Axel, you want to share any URLs, somebody in the yeah, future that may want to uh, look this up? rattle this off. We got immoralhole.com, which is our main site for this Die. show. We've got patreon.com forward slash Madhouse Militia. That's where you can check out all of our old stuff, all of our new stuff, sound bites. There's albums. There's a whole bunch of stuff on Patreon. Uh, that's nothing's really behind the paywall. I went through this week and I opened up all of the archive posts on there that were locked, and now they're open to basically everybody. What else? 
Uh, TravelsWithMiriam.com. That's our old show that we did from 2019 through 2021. There's uh, 70 episodes on there. And those are very long. Most of them are at least two hours. Some are four to six hours long. I think the Pranksgiving might be six hours. Oh, yeah. Every bit of it. Yes, sir. There's some uh, proto Carlito like memorial shows, I think, in there. There's the, the yeah. Dead show. That I did with the dead yeah. in, uh, I think, January 2020. God, I missed that kid, too. Yeah, I was uh, going through some of the old shows and just finding, like, one-off little calls that he did on the show. Just, he would pop mm-hmm. in, do a call, and go. And that was that was his nature, and that was fine. I, I liked that. I, he was a handful when he did full show. Yeah. I mean, he, he managed to get me. himself banned every time. I felt so drained <laughs> after those shows. Like, he was just a draining individual. Whether it was, Holy it was just. I can relate. Yeah. So. I'd have to go around and get him back in. He'd get banned all the time. But I'd say, dude, you got to calm the hell down. So I'd make him wait like yeah, at least two, three would, days, maybe a week. Then he would send very strange <laughs> pictures to people that we wouldn't, we didn't ask yeah. for.
oh yeah, yeah, you're 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 a pecker smacker. So, <laughs> yeah, God, God damn. Oh yeah, uh, your family's still well. We don't even say where your family's at, but you know. <laughs> 